सो हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज महेश एंड यू आर वॉचिंग कार विथ एम एस इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब ऑल्सो फॉलो ऑन इंस्टाग्राम यू कैन शेयर योर डाउट्स देयर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू मेक मैक्सिलरी फर्स्ट प्री मोलर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील डू द मार्किंग्स ऑफ द साइड्स आफ्टर दिस वील मार्क एट पॉइंट फाइव एम एम फॉर द क्राउन एंड देन वील मार्क फाइव एम एम ऑन द सर्वाइकल लाइन एंड सेवन एम एम ऑन द इनसाइजल लाइन as shown here in the figure and we will join the points to form the shape of the trapezoid so we will remove the wax from the either sides of the trapezoid so this is how it will be looking so after this we will mark 2 mm on the palatal side from the incisal edge and make a slope towards the palatal side as shown here in the figure so i am using the back side of the carver so after making the slopes we will mark the central lines and then we will do the marking for the slopes you can see here that the medial slope is longer than the distal slope also do the marking on the medial and the distal sides as shown we will start trimming the wax from the slopes with the back side of the carver i am slowly slowly removing the wax it should look like the figure i have shown here after this we will mark the central lines on the medial and the distal sides also we will do the marking of two more lines as shown here in the figure after this we will mark the midline on the buccal and palatal sides and join the midline to the tip of the line adjacent to it and we will start removing the wax as shown here in the figure make it a slope do similarly on the other side also After this we will make the ridge on the buccal and palatal sides. So first of all we will do the marking for the ridge and we will start removing the wax from its either sides. The ridge is prominent so make it as shown. just remove the wax from the either sides of the line automatically the ridge becomes the prominent after this we will do the marking for the triangular fossa 
so we'll mark the triangles on the either sides on the mesial and the distal sides as shown here in the figure and we'll start removing the wax from inside of it so slowly slowly with the tip of the carver remove the wax So you can see here two triangular pits are been formed. So after this, we will join the triangles with a central line. You can see here in the figure the ridges are present on the buccal and palatal sides on the occlusal surface. So with the back side of the carver, slowly slowly remove the wax from the either sides of the ridges. so that the ridge becomes the prominent give it the exact shape as it is looking in the figure make the ridge on the both the sides After this mark 9 mm on the mesial and the distal sides and from the midline we have earlier mark make the converging slope towards the base as shown here in the figure give it a little bit rounded appearance from the occlusal side we can see that the crown is little bit converge towards the palatal side so we will remove the wax from the corners of the palatal cusp and make it converge towards the palatal side you can see so we will clean the crown with the cotton apply a little bit pressure so that uh, it becomes smooth so we can see that the crown is almost ready and now we'll start with the root so for root we'll mark 14 mm on all the four sides and after that from the base of the crown we'll make the parallel lines as shown here in the figure and we will remove the wax from the sides of the parallel lines after this we will mark the shape of the root on the buccal and palatal sides you can see here it is tapering towards the tip so we'll start removing the wax from the either sides of the marking after this we'll make the edges smooth and rounded After this, on the mesial and the distal sides, we'll mark the line for the bifurcation of the roots. Mark it till the middle, 
middle third and slowly with the tip of the carver start removing the wax take care that the root does not break Move the carver little bit in a rounded manner so that a uh, easily hole will be formed there After this we will tilt the tip of the root towards the distal side for this we will remove a slight wax from the mesial side so that it will look like it is tilted towards the distal side give it a proper shape converge the root towards the base so after this we will clean it with the cotton so hold it with the crown otherwise it may it may break so don't apply much pressure here so it is ready after this we will make the cervical line do the marking as shown here in the figure it is almost straight on the mesial and the distal sides so our tooth is ready so thank you everyone for watching this video do subscribe to this channel like the video also you can follow me on instagram